boxing comes naturally in front of me, man. So if I ain't smiling, man, I, I ain't having no fun, man. I'm, and I'm looking to have fun Sunday night. I don't know if you've heard, but um, Timmy Zoo's team obviously pretty quiet at the beginning. They now think he wins by knockout. What do you think when you hear that? I mean, I, I think I, th I think they're supposed to believe in their horse. You know what I mean? That's the guy they built up. That's the guy that they wanted to to, to, possess, to possess the fights to get all the belts. So first step is Tony Harrison, though. But like I said, if, 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 if Tim think he gonna come in and do what he did to all the rest of them guys, it, it's, it's gonna be a sad day. It's gonna be a sad day in Australia for them guys. You've obviously been in elite level fights. We've spoken about that a number of times, and the losses you've had have been against elite level guys. A loss can either make a fighter or it can break them. How do you look back on some of those losses against some of the, the toughest guys in the division, like Charlo, like Willie Nelson early in your career, like Jared Hurd? I think every, everything everything I went through prepared me for the moment as of right now. You know what I mean? Like like I said, uh, Tim think he's gonna do the same thing, and I'm like the same thing gonna happen two, three times in a row. It, do, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen to a Detroiter. You know what I mean? Like like um, I, th I think Tim's fighting a mature, fine-tuned, wine, wind and dying king now. You know what I mean? I'm not a young. I'm not a young. Unstable, uh, unstable, uh, unstable, vicious lion right now. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, I'm more of a seasoned vet now. You know what I mean? So all, all the things that I, that I made, all the mistakes I made in the beginning, was perfect for me. Are they making a mistake by saying, "Oh, Tony Harrison's old. He's the Tim's always young. He's not going to be able to handle the youth." You know what? I like that narrative. I, I like for them to keep that narrative. That mean that mean they will come in with some reckless shit and get caught reckless. How you doing, the white? My weight is great. I almost came in with my shirt off, but you know me, man. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to distract everybody else, though. One last one. Um, everybody loves you here. Do you almost feel like you're the favorite? Like, is it, like as in everybody wants you to win? Like everybody's getting a bit of Tony Harrison vibes? You know what, man? I, it's, I'm really, I'm really, a, I'm really a hard guy not to like. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a hard guy not to go for. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I, I think, I think everybody's going for not, not, not only like past the skill. You know, just. Just the charisma, man. Just, just the way I interact with people, man. And I think Tim is the, Tim is the total opposite corny. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know what Tim did to a lot of people, man. But I, I'm, trust me, is 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 everybody that, that that don't like Tim and me? I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do everybody's job for him one in one night. First of all, talk us through those the sunglasses choice today, mate. That's an interesting one. Oh man, it's hot. Uh... It's hot, the sun's out, so uh, this is the best protection. Yeah, but those specific sunglasses, I remember your old man used to wear them in the 80s, everything <laughs> comes around again. Business, bro, we're here for business. <laughs> you know, you look around here today and everybody's here for you, obviously, and I know you're getting used to this, but this is for sure the biggest card you've ever been on. I, I wonder if your, your mindset changes with everything at stake. I'm, honestly, I've never been so relaxed, uh, never been so excited. It's a, it's a special moment in my career. In 28 years, it's been 28 years in the making. So for me, uh, I'm just driving it all in. It's such a big, big event, such a big spectacle. Uh, but I believe that this is the stage that I was born for. So I'm just enjoying it all in. Igor doesn't obviously say a whole lot, as you know. And the other day he told me he thinks you knock him out. I know you've said that you do as well. Have you thought about how that might play out? It would be great. It would be great. And I truly, truly believe it. And uh, a lot of people uh, will witness it because I know it's going to happen. Uh, it's not if it happens, it's when it happens. Tony today was running at midday, and I know you guys are going to fight around that time, and uh, maybe he's trying to adjust to the heat. But does that surprise you a little bit to be running around outside in the middle of the day? It's, it's pretty hot today. It is, man. It really is. I wouldn't be running right now. Uh, it's definitely not good for you. Uh, probably getting used to what he's going to do in the ring and that's run 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 and run i'm not going to be running i'm going to be chasing you've obviously big day for the family as well with the key to fighting in your car for the first time i can't imagine you can invest too much emotional energy in watching that fight or do you keep it on or are you just nah man away? i'm locked in locked in this is a big moment in my career 28 years in the making so i'm i'm locked in how many more kilos you got to go you're going to tell us because you're looking pretty shredded i saw a yeah. photo you yesterday I feel good, man. That's the main thing. Usually, I'm feeling a bit, a little bit drained and uh, a little bit heavy, heavier days for myself. Right now, man, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Everything's just uh, going smoothly. I got a few kilos to lose, but it's all part of the process, isn't it? What's Chef Omar gonna have you eating? Right now? Yeah, next couple of days. Or next will there couple be days, uh, there'll be there'll be a bit of food. I'm, I'm keeping it nice and simple. Uh, but watch fight night. I'll be uh, I'll be a different monster.
Another question, we'll ask you close to the time and you might have a better idea, but how much more do you think you'll weigh after, after weighing? How much do you think you'll put on? Uh, I'll put in eight kilos. Eight kilos. I'm, massive, a, I'm massive. a big boy. I'm a big boy. And, uh, people, people don't realise, but I'm a thick boy as well. So uh, once, uh, once we get to the fight night, um, you'll see, you'll see the, the thickness in, in my body. Watching the undefeated Tim Zoo go through his paces ahead of his big fight this 